Good morning, Fellowship Kids. It's me, Mr. Levi. It is so good to see you guys on this wonderful Sunday. We're going to do some worship together. We're going to do two songs. <clears throat> this first song we're going to do is called Death Was Arrested. This song is so much fun. This song has such beautiful lyrics to it. Um, and we're going to sing this one together. No hand motions to this song, but we do have hand motions to our next song. So don't you worry. Um, we sang the song in, uh, in church last Sunday and I was like, man, we've got to do that for kids worship. And so here we are. So sing with me, sing with me if you know these words. Uh, if you don't, uh, the chorus is so beautiful and repetitive, you'll, you'll catch on. Alone in my sorrow and dead in my sin. Lost without hope, with no place to begin. Your love made a way to let mercy come in. When death was arrested, my life began. Ash was redeemed, only beauty remained.
arrested and my life began When death was arrested and my life began When death was arrested and my life began Good singing, you guys. <coughs> Woo! I'm really into that one. Um... I think my favorite, man, there's so much in that song that's so beautiful. I love the chorus. Oh, we're free, free forever. We're free. Come join the song of all the redeemed. Yes, we're free. We're free forever. Amen. When death was arrested and my life began. Oh, your grace so free washes over me. You have made me new and now my life begins with you. It's your endless love pouring down on us. You've made us new and now life begins with you. Guys, God's grace is free. God's undeserved favor is free. It is a gift. Jesus' love is a gift. We love Jesus in the first place because he loved us first. We did not earn his love. That love was freely given. It's free. And because of Jesus' free gift, we have freedom. We have freedom from the bondage of sin. We have been set free. Death does not have power over us. Hell does not have power over us. We, we have freedom in Jesus. Oh, your grace so free washes over me. You have made us new. The Lord has made us new. And now our life, we have new life, born again life in Jesus. Isn't that amazing? Man, that song's awesome. Oh, there's a big part of me that just wants to sing that all over again. But I promised a song with hand motion, so that's what we're going to do. This next song we're going to do is called This Little Light of Mine. We've done this one before, This Little Light of Mine. We've got a little finger. It's like a little light, like a little candle. I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Just shining our little light, this little light of mine. Then if we say hide it under a bushel, are we going to hide that light from everybody? No, we're going to let it shine, hide it under a bushel. No, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. And then we're going to say, don't let Satan blow it out. Don't let Satan it out. I'm going to let it shine. So we're going to talk about all of this stuff about how we're going to let our light shine, our light that we're shining, we're reflecting the Lord. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. There we go. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let's do that again, you guys. Come on. This little light of mine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Alright, this next one, we're not gonna hide it under a bushel. Here we go. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. All right. Now we're not gonna let Satan blow it out. Here we go. Don't let Satan it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let Satan it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let Satan it out. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. All right, this last one. Actually, well, we'll see if it's the last one. We'll see how we feel. This one's, uh, let it shine till Jesus comes. Because we're gonna let that light shine until Jesus returns to take us home. Here we go. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. We're gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Alright, 
this little light of mine one more time, you guys. Let's make it count. Here we go. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Good singing, you guys. We're going to let the light of Jesus shine no matter where we go. We are a reflection of our King. We bear His image, and no matter where we go, we want to represent Jesus. We want to represent our King well. We're going to let our light, the light of Jesus shine no matter where we go. We're not going to cover up our light and pretend we don't follow Jesus. We're going to shine that light no matter where we go. The devil, Satan, is not going to let, let that light be blown out. We're going to keep representing Jesus no matter where we go. We're going to keep representing Jesus. And when Jesus comes and remakes everything, a new heavens and a new earth, and we get to be with Jesus forever and ever and ever and ever and ever, we're still going to reflect God's glory for all eternity. Isn't that amazing, you guys? Man, that's such good news. Well, thank you guys so much for worshiping with me today, but now it's time for our Bible story. So let's open our eyes, open our ears, and close our mouths so that we can hear this important story today. The men who arrested Jesus led him to the house of Caiaphas, the high priest. The religious leaders were gathered there. They wanted a reason to kill Jesus, but they couldn't find one. Finally, two men came forward and said, This man said he can destroy the temple of God and rebuild it in three days. Caiaphas stood up and asked Jesus, Is this true? What do you have to say for yourself? But Jesus said nothing. Caiaphas said, I command you to answer, are you the Messiah, the Son of God? Jesus replied, yes, that's right. In the future you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of God, and you will see him coming on the clouds of heaven. Caiaphas was angry. He and the other religious leaders did not want to believe that Jesus is God's Son. They said Jesus was lying, but Jesus was telling the truth. Caiaphas tore his robes and said, this man has spoken against God. You all heard him. Now what should we do? The crowd said, He deserves to die. Then they spit in Jesus' face, hit him, and mocked him. The next morning, the religious leaders decided how they would kill Jesus. Then they took him to Pilate, the governor. Pilate asked, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, Yes, that's right. Then the religious leaders made accusations against Jesus, but Jesus did not say anything. Pilate was surprised that Jesus was silent. Every year at Passover, the governor would free a prisoner, whichever prisoner the people chose. At that time, there was a prisoner named Barabbas who was very dangerous. So Pilate asked the crowd, Who do you want me to set free, Barabbas or Jesus, who is called the Messiah? The crowd answered, Barabbas! Pilate asked, Then what should I do with Jesus, who is called the Messiah? The crowd answered, Crucify him! Pilate asked, Why? What has he done wrong? But the crowd kept shouting, Crucify him! Pilate saw that there was nothing else he could do, so he took some water and washed his hands in front of the crowd. I am not guilty of this man's death, he said. Then Pilate freed Barabbas and handed Jesus over to the crowd to be killed. Jesus was unfairly sentenced to die, although he did no wrong. Jesus was the perfect substitute for us, dying on the cross for our sins and rising from the dead. Everyone who trusts in Jesus has forgiveness and life with God forever. Wow, you guys, that, there was a lot that happened in that story, wasn't it? Jesus was put on trial. Jesus was beaten and bruised and would eventually be hung on a cross. And Jesus did nothing wrong. He lived a perfect life, a sinless life. He is fully man and fully God. He can't sin. The reason that he died, the reason that he endured that punishment was for us. He took our place. That should have been us on the cross. That should have been us 
being beaten. We should have been the ones on trial. But Jesus took our place. He was the perfect sacrifice, the perfect spotless lamb, and took our place. That's how much he loves us. He loves us so much that he is willing to die for us, us, God's children. Isn't that amazing, you guys? I'm so grateful we serve a God who loves us that much, who adopted us, who saved us even though we don't deserve it. Guys, thank y'all so much for worshiping with me and for listening to the Bible story. I love you guys, and I will see you guys again very soon. Love y'all.